You sympathize with ISIS, you might as well be ISIS. New reports claim the Danish government, Omar al Hussein, pledged allegiance to the terror group's leader on Facebook before pulling off this terror. And former FBI agent Steve Rogers says that makes him just as bad as the beheaders themselves. Um, you argue any association, any homage to this group makes you that group, right? Well, you know, Neil, there are two things we have to look at. One, we use the word oath. One who takes an oath of allegiance to ISIS has taken an oath to our enemies, and they have broken their pledge of allegiance to the United States of America. That's treason. That's illegal. Could you imagine in 1944, 43, 42, taking an oath to Nazi Germany here in the United States? So that would not be tolerated. Now, the sympathizers, there are a lot of sympathizers, as we know, and obviously it's not illegal to sympathize, but here lies the problem with the sympathizers. ISIS, they surf the net. They look for sympathizers, and that sympathizer has now become a very rich target for recruitment. It goes from the sympathizer to taking an oath. Who are they treason. recruiting? And who are they trying to win over? People are disenchanted, angry, bitter. What? You said it all. Disenchanted, angry, bitter for some reason at the United States government. Uh, and as you know, there are people who get on the Internet, and they actually ex expound on this stuff. So that's who ISIS goes after. And you know, Neil, they're, they're offering these people money, training. They're offering them... Uh, friendship, if you will, to do what? To tear down the United States of America. Israel and the United States are their main targets. And until the President of the United States identifies these enemies as Islamic terrorists, you know what? We're going to find ourselves in real deep trouble right here in the homeland. You know what's scary about what you're saying? You said this before, uh, to your credit, about the dangers we have to watch. It doesn't take ISIS coming here to do it. It could be ISIS recruiting here and succeeding in having it. Neil, years ago we had human intelligence, okay, where you had to take a physical agent and go overseas to get intelligence. And of course, when I was in the Navy and I was in Virginia, they warned us about KGB agents. You had the, during World War II, Japanese agents, Nazi agents here. Today, they can just train. They can do it here over the internet. They can send one person here and train dozens of people right here in the homeland. And then when they're ready to, to, to hatch that cell, if you will, that's when we're going to say, wake up, and you know what? We're at war. Well, that's what Colonel Danny McKnight was here a little earlier, Black Hawk Down thing. He was saying, when Americans are going to wake up to the reality, this will happen here sooner than you think. You know, I believe, on a, a larger basis than we've come to think. I believe the American people are aware of this and have w awakened to this. It's the President of the United States that has an so awakening. you were at that what, three day White House conference going on just this subject. What would you say? Uh, Hit him, I would say it's not jobs, all right? It's not hanging out on a golf course discussing this. It's hit him and hit him hard and destroy them, period. Winston Churchill, God bless that man, if he wasn't around in 1944, we would have had deep, deep troubles, more serious problems than we had with Hitler. We need a Winston Churchill today. We need a Ronald Reagan today. We need a leader in this country today. And I hope to God in a few years we get one. Steve, good seeing you again. Thank you, Neil. Real Hard to argue. <laughs> Real pleasure being Steve, here. Steve, thank you very much. He calls it like it is and, and speaks his mind. Meanwhile, great Scott.